This is my trusted Nexus 4. Let's unbox the device that finally got me to give it up. I'm a couple of years late to the LG V30. Just like I was to my previous phone and the phone before that, I like to be a little bit behind the times when it comes to phones. But this is by far the most up-to-date phone I've ever bought. It's by far the most expensive and hopefully it's by far the best. I've been waiting all day for my package to arrive and it finally did. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here we have it. Uh, it's a very nice box. Let me just get my knife and um, we'll cut open the tamper seal. The device is actually second hand, uh, but it looks like it was refurbished by LG due to the tamper seals. And there's also a sticker certifying that the device has been completely wiped on the side. Uh, I'll show you that on the screen. We'll carefully remove the lid. Um, easy does it. Don't want to ruin the device as soon as I get it. And there we go. Um, look at that display. It's shiny, uh, almost no bezels on the display, completely black. And then if we look at the back, it's kind of this, the silver, cloud silver color, shiny. Um, I will be putting a matte black skin on the back. Um, just because that's what I prefer, but uh, it's certainly very pretty. Put that to the side. Also included is a screen wipe. Uh, it's very useful. Next we have uh, a little cardboard wrap. Um, if we just put the box to the side. If we open that up, uh, it has the SIM card removal kit, which I'll need for putting my SIM card in, um, a little quick start manual, and quite usefully, this looks like, uh, yep, the warranty information. Um, so LG are supposed to offer an additional year on the warranty, um, although I don't know how that will apply to this refurbished unit. just close that up and again we'll, we'll stick that to the side. So next up we have the quick charge 3.0 I believe USB um, connector, USB adapter. Um, we just remove the plastic. So the, the V30 works with Qualcomm quick charge but it also uh, works with any power delivery unit which is quite useful. But obviously they need to Unlike some manufacturers, they provided the, the, the quickest charging kit, um, adapter in the box. Yeah, it has a, a nice extendable kind of ground pin, which is really useful because then it obviously maintains that lower um, surface area. Although I'm not a fan of where they put the USB-A port. Um, also we have this uh, USB-A to USB-C cable. Let me show you that in a second. There we go. Um, it looks, feels okay, but uh, I'll probably use my own cables. Next up, I think in here we have the, yeah, the Bang and Olufsen earbuds. So I wasn't sure if these were going to be included since this is a refurbished, like, second-hand unit, but it looks like they are. Of course, um, as you saw, the B&O label is on the back of the V30 since they certified the DAC, but we also get um, supposedly very good earbuds from them too. They look pretty good. And that's it. Put the rest to the side. So basically there's a few things that I really liked about this phone. It's uh, got all the flagship features, including kind of USB-C, uh, wireless charging, a headphone jack, but it also has some things that are set apart, the wide angle camera, which I think is really good, and the high quality DAC. So it kind of, it kind of mixes and matches, but one of the key features is that the price dropped. It dropped really far and really quickly. It compares now to um, 
some second-hand Note 8s, which I think this device, despite lacking the S Pen, is really comparable to. So when coming from the Nexus 4, which is really starting to show its age, I was just looking for a device that could hold its own and hopefully wouldn't be outdated in the next few years. Plus, I really hate how manufacturers are getting rid of the headphone jack and adding a notch and just generally moving features and upping the price. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content that I have never done before and likely will never do again.